guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms in the mountains of North Carolina. I am not very good at soldering the older I get. It kind of sucks getting old, but as you can tell in my early videos, I didn't used to wear these. And now these, well, a lot of times I have to use this in order to do any kind of soldering at all. Well, that problem, I hope anyway, has been solved. Let me show you this. I had a company reach out to me. And they offered to send me this really cool doodad. This is a digital microscope. And I've seen these at HamFest. I've seen these around. I've never had the pleasure of owning one. But we're going to play with it today. And, of course, I'll leave you a link to where you can get your own. But this is really nifty. It's the digital microscope 246S or 249S. And it comes with a whole bunch of stuff here. I opted for one that had the 10 inch screen because again, my vision isn't great at all, but you can see a nice 10 inch LCD screen here, which gives us access to, you know, all the, hopefully everything. Then that comes with a nice remote here. We'll get this all unpacked here and we'll turn it on. And then some of this, uh, I'll bring the camera really close in so you can see what's going on. Different lenses, a bunch of cabling. lights i mean this thing has this thing has it all and you can use this for a variety of things so i'm going to be using it for soldering because like i said i don't have very good vision anymore but there are a lot of other uses for it which i think kind of make it useful for you know science applications and whatnot it is a really well built looking piece of machinery i can tell you that just taking it out this is all metal that you're seeing me unbox here i think that's about it so why don't you give me a second i'll go ahead and get this assembled and then we'll take a look together at what we've got all right well here it is <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> i swear i get to play with some of the neatest stuff uh, because of this channel and because of you the fans the opportunities that i've had over the past few years as a result of farpoint farms with the reviews, with the radios, with equipment like this. Stuff that you dream about but never actually get to play with. Well, now I not only get to play with it, I get to own it. This thing is so cool. I'm going to get the camera closer in, but let me just go over some of the features and functions with you right here. So it has two different ways of doing things here. As you can see, I have some LEDs here. And those are positionable so that you can see the board you're working on. The screen here, and again, I'll get the camera a lot closer in here so you can see it, magnifies uh, what's going on there. Now you have some control here to change your focus level, and you also have the ability to raise and lower the unit up for better viewing. And then again, you can also, with the pieces on the side here, slide the whole unit farther forward or farther back, depending on where on the board you need to see. And uh, that's pretty cool. So it has three different lenses for three different magnification levels. I've got the medium one on there right now. It has a very high resolution one and a slightly lower, actually I think this is the mid resolution one as well so that you can do a variety of things. So for me, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I do like to solder and this is bringing my soldering game back up to an A++ with something like this. I can use this zoom level or if I was using, you know, surface mount technology and I wanted to try to replace something there, I could get in there as long as I keep my hands steady enough, which sometimes is an issue, and I could do soldering work on there. But for another whole aspect, which I did not even think about when I got this, this is also a microscope for educational purposes. It even comes with several slides of things that you can check. So you could do... You know, this one here is a honeybee wing, right? You can't see it. I'm looking at it here, and, and I can't even see that it's on here. But uh, you look, oops, let me slide that back in there so it doesn't get damaged. But you look right here, and what we have is a backlit piece that sits on there. You lay your slide down on top of it, and now we're able to take a look at stuff like that. And, and so this is really cool for science, you know? Now, this is an HDMI monitor. It even uh, comes with this battery pack where you could plug this in and charge it separately if you wanted to or directly power this thing up. That's kind of a cool feature. It does have a uh, HDMI C port or whatever the mini HDMI port is. 
and there's some controls along the back of it. As for this piece here, it's really controlled. We have a power on and off and we have a brightness. Oh, I just turned everything off. I turn it back on. But I can turn the brightness down on the LEDs or turn them back up, as you can see. And there it goes. You can... So if you're working with something that is a reflective surface, that the brightness level is too high, well, then you can just fix that. And like I said, to switch this over, you take this out, unplug the bottom part here. You can see it doesn't kill the monitor. Plug it into this, which has its own little light. And now we can hook this up and take a look at what's going on inside of there. And I, I am going to uh, play with this some, but again, a lightness, a brightness, we can change around a little bit up, up and down. You can see it dimming out. Hopefully you can see that on camera. And there it is getting bright again. All right, there we are with the middle setting in here. And you can see the in detail is just insane. So if I wanted to... Uh, get something in here. This would be for micro or uh, surface mount stuff, but I'm just showing you on this. But to give you an idea, the set of tweezers, the size of those are is, uh, you know, my, there's my finger there. Let's go ahead. and. <laughs> so when you have hands like mine that shake some or you're just not very steady anymore, this is perfect. I can get that and get it out of there. I can get that. And so this little computer here that I'm actually showing you, I'm getting ready to replace some RAM chips. Uh, there's the RAM chip, the U15 and U14. They've gone bad. I used the thermal imager to figure that out, and we are going to replace those here with a soldering iron. But, gosh, you can see the board looks clean to the naked eye, but it certainly doesn't look clean here. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Is that incredible or what? I mean, I just, I am so blown away by this. So you can see the individual hairs on it and that's at the higher magnification level now there's also a digital zoom I can zoom in digitally speaking you can see the steps so I mean the level that you can get in here is absolutely incredible wow how wild is that so it is definitely useful if you have children or grandchildren and want to use this uh, to help them understand nature better. This is a perfect way of doing that, as well as, of course, using it for soldering, for radio work, for whatever it is you want to use that you need a better set of eyes for. Incredible. Incredible. I will certainly leave a link to where you can get it. It's uh, the Joy Alanez. I, I can't really pronounce that name at all, to be honest with you, but it is such a great thing to have. I'm so excited to play with this some more today. Till next time, my friends, take care.